everything that you do in life is an uphill battle. And if it's not an uphill battle, it's usually not worth doing unless you're uh, relaxing on a beach. Uh, we have to fight and scratch and claw for almost every single thing that we do in life. And battling mental health is the exact same thing. When talking about PTSD, uh, it wasn't a, uh, it wasn't a, uh, a, a thing I could realize on my own. I was diagnosed uh, with PTSD in 2011. Uh, uh, that's whenever I went through the official process with the uh, uh, Department of Veterans Affairs. So with me, it wasn't just the post-traumatic stress disorder. And like with, with a lot of veterans who are uh, experiencing mental health disorders, uh, it's usually the mental health disorder and the underlying circumstances that might exacerbate uh, that issue. So for me, it was post-traumatic stress disorder on top of alcohol abuse and on top of underlying uh, uh, depressive uh, disorder. Uh, couple that with uh, anxiety and uh, stress on top of a minor traumatic brain injury. I don't think I really thought I was in war until you start to see people actually dying and uh, uh, when you lose people, especially people from your own unit or people that you actually know, and that it makes it real. It's not a video game anymore. It's not a test anymore. It's not training going up to it. It's real life. People you don't get to talk to again. People you don't get to see again. There were uh, a bit of uh, some mental delusions where uh, I felt like I was being transported back in time to my the period of service in Iraq and Afghanistan. I started to talk to the VA for medication and I started taking uh, some, some uh, medications to help with some of the delusional things that I thought I was having. And I had a bit of a, uh, uh, a bad reaction to uh, a medication called Risperdal. Uh, and uh, I, Sometimes medication mixes work for some people and the, the mix of the medication and who you are uh, can have wonderful effects for some people and uh, bad effects for other people. Unfortunately, this medication had a pretty bad effect on me. And uh, I started having delusions. I thought that my uh, the people around me were trying to uh, uh, attack me. I thought that uh, uh, Iraqis and Afghanis were coming to take my child. So I barricaded myself in my home, and this is, a, again, a bad reaction to this medication, and uh, I wouldn't let myself or my child out. I was taken for a mental evaluation, uh, had to go through a uh, lengthy uh, battle with the court system to make sure that I was uh, uh, okay enough to be with my children. And uh, it was, uh, again, uh, a lot of different issues compounded onto each other that started with not addressing the mental health issues that started with PTSD. That's why I always say it's never ever just the PTSD. It's the situation that it creates around you and sometimes some of the inescapable situations that it, the hole that it puts you in while you're trying to dig your back yourself back up to level ground. During the most unmanageable times, it was just, uh, it was lack of support that I would say was the toughest part. And I think those are the things that really uh, contribute to exacerbating system, the situations and or symptoms that are happening people. Sometimes people don't know what to do to support. So sometimes the things that she thought was may have been supporting a little bit detrimental. Um, we all do what we can. If you know somebody who is struggling uh, with uh, an issue and you don't know what the issue is and you don't know how to address the issue, sometimes there is nothing better than just asking somebody if they want to talk. You don't have to have any answers. Uh, you 
Um, all you have to do is listen. <laughs>